There's a lot of fish in the area, man. Yeah, that's good. That's exciting, huh? Uh huh. Very rare. Very rare. Pretty good day for coffee around here. Just landed in the Azores and got welcomed by this beautiful rainstorm. We noticed this giant waterfall when we were coming in. And I hadn't seen that before, so it was pretty evident it's been raining here pretty hard. We got high hopes for today. We'll be taking off here probably about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, they bite in the rain here. We know that. We caught one of our biggest fish here in the rain last year. Doesn't seem like they mind that pressure drop. And uh, see what the day brings. Buddy. Good seeing you, man. This is my friend Zach. Hi, Hi. Hi. That's a good thing. Swordfish, rod and reel. We caught another fish! <laughs> We're ready now. It's on. So we've been talking all morning. We're kind of shorting out a little bit here. Yesterday, you know, we're still kind of finishing up a little bit of a wind cycle. Things are starting to clear up a little bit today as far as weather. And uh, we got reports yesterday, or the last couple days, Steve did, of a uh, local swordfish. So I've been thinking about how the heck we're gonna go up there and cast off of them. We got this little, little tiny little bow rail up there. But we do have a swordfish caster, and maybe tomorrow we'll try to catch some live bait. Uh, some mackerels or something. And it's uh, supposed to be a nice nice weather day tomorrow, so maybe we'll go look around a little bit. And uh, if we do find one, it's gonna be a little goofy, be getting up to the bow, so no laughing. It's scary. Once you get up there, it's fine. That bow rail will work. Oh yeah. If I dump the bait there, I gotta go underneath, right? I gotta go underneath it here and then underneath this leg and then underneath that. Or I go up there, drop the bare hook. Yeah, exactly. Then will somebody else watch the neck. Or, or, and then yeah, somebody can bait. Throw it in. Can you bait my hook?
Okay. I'd rather have a fried finger than a backlash. So what happened was this thing came up, knocked it down. I got on it. We always try to put the lure back in the exact same position. These females tend to have a pattern once they decide they like something, they tend to go back to the same one. So after it got knocked out, then it's flatlined. We put it back in position, clip came up, Kevin reached for the clip. And when he does that, I go into free spool. And uh, just as Kevin was putting on the clip, this thing came up at Mach 5. So I was in free spool. It's not a white. I guarantee you it's not a white. Came off! Came off again! What the mother Oh! dinner all right here we are we just got back in epic epic day our best day of fishing ever and we've seen the biggest fish that all of us collectively on the boat with many many decades of uh, fishing experience we've never seen a fish this big uh, there are big fish 
you know, grander's 1100, 1200, and then there's giants. And we seen a giant today. Uh, had a shot at it and uh, just didn't work out. Hook didn't penetrate. But uh, th this thing was four foot wide and I, I just can't explain it. It was just heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. And hopefully we'll get another shot like that at some point in the future. But, uh, but we had an epic day. We raised 13 blue marlins today, the most that we've ever done. It's just one of these crazy, magical, unreal, surreal days of fishing. Unfortunately, luck was not on our side to get the giant, but it keeps us coming back for more. Azores fishing is hot right now, and uh, we're gonna go right back at it tomorrow. Living in Madeira for a few years now. Moved out there from South Florida. Beginning of the world tour, came in contact with a few of the team members from Bad Company and helped them with some logistics. And uh, getting the Spencer over to Madeira and set up for Anthony for the beginning of the tour. This season, uh, Azores Lake 2 happened to be in uh, Ponta Delgada and they asked me to bring the boat over here with Vito and get it ready for this epic fishery we've had. We got out here late, beautiful day as you can see, flat calm, as soon as we pull the throttles back, Everybody said, oh, swordfish water. So we got the pattern out, getting ready to fish for blue marlin. Already uh, started metering uh, blue marlin on the sonar. And then all of a sudden, OB from down here starts screaming swordfish. And there it is, high and dry, a two fitter. circus act this is not the right boat for us we don't really have the gear set up we don't have any light bait but we gave it a shot we ended up using a pitch bait put it on the rigger pulled it by three or four times and just like typical swordfish not wanted nothing to do with us i think with the appropriate setup light bait and uh, pitching from the front we might have gotten a reaction but uh you know typical swordfish typical conditions black calm it's up sunny I believe a couple of boats already have two fish each for the day. In the last two days, is I can't even explain it. Nine for 19 in the last two days. My legs are feeling it after uh, catching nine fish. Anyways, ha happy to be here, excited to be here, and wish us luck. Sitting 
didn't get the tag. I got you. That is f***ing <laughs> epic right there. <laughs> are completely gone. Gone. I can't feel a thing. 15 blue marlin in three days. Nine of 15 is over 600. Plus two or three 500. This is, I don't know. 
I can't even dream this big. I can't even dream this big. You can't say what we just seen unless you spent hundreds, thousands of days on the water. Thousands, decades. What just happened was amazing. Eight fish, last two was a double. A six and a nine. I never had a double with both over 500. On a day, a half day, we didn't start fishing until almost noon. And the greedy side of me says, how, how different would we feel if we caught that 1200 yesterday? <laughs> Holy, woo! Okay, time for a drink. Fishing the day I've had in my lifetime. Two over eight.